hi welcome to matters and rising with t bang so you guys before we get started please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel so you guys we're going to be talking about why the elders of faith are not going to cancel the reverend biodun fatuimbo because um recently he posted pictures with um pastor david ibiome um bishop david oyedipo like heavyweights okay and um, it kind of ruffled some feathers some people were not happy about it and i even saw comments like um david ibiome pastor david ibiome has not placed a curse on um pastor biodu but he's placing curses on um yahoo boys and all of that and some people are giving like side eyes some people are even saying that oh our leaders are the cause of the problems that we have in nigeria okay so before i go on i want to first of all give a disclaimer disclaimer that i create commentaries are uh, from a faith-based perspective okay so um if this will offend you i would suggest that you just go watch something else okay so first of all um i know that we live in a generation that cancel culture is a thing when influencers and certain sets of people don't like a particular person and they go ahead to cancel that person people just follow okay and um a lot of people don't have minds of their own so they would usually what's that thing that what's that thing the the, the head mentality they have dissenting opinions but because a uh, majority of people are going in a direction they don't want to be seen as the odd one out so they would go in that particular direction that's why cancel culture is such a big thing in this generation however cancel culture doesn't have a place in the christian faith because these men that we are talking about they are christian leaders um they are leaders of mega ministries in nigeria okay i mean the world to even to to as a matter of fact because they have branches in different parts of the world excuse me so council culture does not have a place in the christian faith that's the first thing we need to first of all understand because um some of us maybe because of we are young and because of our generation we think that council culture um can be um we can have cancel culture in church but that's not that's not the jesus way that's not how jesus wants us to behave remember the woman who was accused of committing adultery i don't know if you guys know that story in the bible but if you are a christian and you know that story tell me the story in the comment section and the citizens in that particular country at the time they wanted to stone her to death because that was the customs and traditions at the time and jesus wrote or we don't know what he wrote but the bible says that he wrote something on the floor and he looked at them and said he who is without sin should cast the first stone and that's how all of them they started dropping their their stones and they went back to their houses so we can assume that jesus began to count the sins that every person who wanted to stone that lady because there have been a lot of things about that story first of all who was the man that she was committing adultery with with. um she didn't commit adultery with herself it, it takes two to tango two people have to tango for that particular story so by the time jesus we don't know what jesus was writing but i'm just assuming jesus started writing down things maybe this one you, you did this you know that kind of thing everybody everywhere closed church closed the old matter died down and jesus said if i don't condemn you don't condemn yourself now back to this story like i was saying cancel culture does not have a place in the christian faith and that is why these men of god will not cancel reverend biodu in public we don't know in private what kind of conversations they've had with him what they have spoken about we are not privy to that but in public you know there's something that they say that you don't throw a baby and the water out of the bath it's not done okay <laughs> you 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 remove the baby and throw the water so we don't know the kind of conversations these men have had with him in private because there are some people are like this is pr why is he trying to be seen with bishop Oedipo? why is it 
trying he goes to Kenan land every December he's seen with David e. Bioma blah 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 da, 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 da. um I don't even want to talk about what you guys wanted that's even inconsequential but the fact is that these men I'm um, speaking to what I'm talking about why they will not cancel him why Bishop Oedipo why David Biome will not cancel him some people may say okay there are some other set of Christian ministers that may not want to be associated with him it's fine not everybody has to be your friend um, not everybody has to like you and that's one thing that we need to understand the fact that you don't like somebody or the fact that you have some bias biases against somebody doesn't mean that the whole world has that bias it becomes witchcraft and manipulation when you now say that because i don't like this person then everybody should not like this person i don't understand who are you in the scheme of things who do you think you are in the scheme of things we all have our preferences and what we like like i know that reverend biodun has been involved in a lot of scandals and all of that fine I'm not even going to speak to that okay that's um that's not the point and somebody's like oh he's been a lot yeah he's, you know there's some people who, the fact that he has been um in the eye of the public some people just feel like they are persecuting him and that's why i'm going to stand by him you know the human nature is so diverse diverse and um i always say my principle of living is live and let lives live i will allow you to be all that you want to be and you say give me space to be all that i want to be you cannot come and want to bully me for what i like you may not like what i like and i may not like what you like but i'm not going to come and tell you this is how you should live your life because I don't like what you like or because we don't see eye to eye and this is one of the issues that i have with people who make issues personal speak to the issues don't become insultive don't don't deviate from the matter at hand to something totally different so back to my conversation on why these pastors will not cancel reverend biodo in public it is not christ-like it is not it's not part of the christian faith that's not um you know the 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 god we serve is a god of first second third fifth tenth twentieth chances okay so even though human beings may keep things in their mind once god has moved on god has moved on human beings may not okay um and it's fine and another thing is that god doesn't take permission from anyone to bless a person so you me not liking reverend biodun does not have anything to do with his organization growing his personal life growing um and all of that so i'm just going to end this video here i just wanted to give my commentary um thank you so much guys um remember to like this video and yeah thank you i'll see you in my next one bye